Good afternoon to all netizens who are watching this. Welcome to the DOST Pagasa 123rd Climate Forum. I am your MC, Joribel Masalio. In line with the implementation of work from home policy due to COVID-19 pandemic, Pagasa is having this recorded climate forum since last month. Still, we are committed to give you the weather and climate information. For today's program, the welcome remarks will be delivered by Dr. Esperanza Okayanan, Officer in Charge, Office of the Deputy Administrator for Research and Development. The latest weather update will be given by Mr. Christopher Perez, Weather Forecaster from Weather Division, followed by the status of dams by Ms. Rosalie Pagulayan, Hydrologist from the Hydromet Division, and the review of climate condition for the two-month period, March to April 2020, will be given by Ms. Joanne Marie Duran, Weather Specialist from CLIMS CAD. And the six-month climate outlook for May to October 2020 will be delivered by Ms. Annalisa S. Solis, Chief of CLIMS CAD. And the closing remarks will be delivered by Ms. Edna L. Juanillo, Chief Climatology and Agrometeorology Division. Please stay tuned for the 123rd Climate Forum. Thanks everyone, stay safe, and God bless us. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa ika-123rd Climate Forum ngayong araw na ito. Bilang pambungad, isang mainit na pagbati po ang pinahahatid ng pag-asa sa inyong lahat. Kumusta na po kayo ngayong Extended ECQ? Nadaraman nyo na po ba ang painit na painit, painit na painit na temperatura sa araw-araw? Magtatagal po kaya ang lagay ng panahon na ito? Kailan po kaya darating ang bagyo? Ngayong Mayo po kaya o sa susunod na buwan? Ano na po ang level ng mga dams na monitor natin? Sapat po ba ang tubig para sa ating mga pangangailangan? Ano po ang aasahan natin na panalagay ng panahon sa mga susunod na buwan? Yan po ang mga katanungan na sasagutin ngayong forum na ito. Kaya habang nasa bahay, sit back and relax at subaybayan po natin ang ulat at mensahe na ipahahatid ng ating mga eksperto ng pag-asa. Bago po ako magtapos, konting paalala lamang po. Iba yung pag-iingat po ang dapat natin gawin habang meron pa po tayong ECQ at kailangan mag-ingat sa COVID-19 at sa heat stress dahil sa init ng panahon. Stay at home po tayo pero kung kinakailangan pong lumabas, magsuot po tayo ng face mask, magdala po tayo ng payong para iwasan ang matinding init ng sikat ng araw. At dapat po ay iinom din tayo ng maraming tubig para hindi po tayo ma-dehydrate. So muli po, uh, isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat. Magandang araw at narito ang magiging lagay na ating panahon sa susunod na 24 oras at maging sa susunod na tatlong araw. Bago po ang lahat, welcome po sa ating monthly climate forum. Ngayong uh, Wednesday, April 29, 2020. Sa ngayon po ay monitor tayo sa isang low pressure area na kaninang alas 8 ng umaga ay tinatayang nasa layang 1,005 kilometers ang layo east-southeast ng Davao City. At bagamat uh, wala pa itong ganong epekto dito sa mga oras ito sa ilang bahagi ng uh, Mindanao ay naasan nga natin na within 24 hours yung mga kaulapan nito ay posibleng umabot nga sa ilang lalawigan sa silangang bahagi ng Mindanao. Bagamat malit ang tsyansa nitong maging bagyo ay patuloy tayong magmamonitor at magbibigay ng abiso sa ating mga babayan through our public weather forecast kaya't ang lahat ay pinapayo na patuloy nga magmonitor sa update ng pag-asa hinggil sa naturang sama ng panahon. Bandang dulong Hilagang Luzon naman patuloy pa rin umairal yung tinatawag natin na northeasterly surface wind flow. At dahil dito ay naasahan nga na itong dulong Hilagang Luzon, particular ng Batanes at ang Babuyan Group of Island ay magiging maulap na may mga mahinang pag-ulan. Sa natitirang bahagi naman Luzon, patuloy ang mainit at medyo malinsang ang panahon pero may tsansa rin ang ilang pulong-pulong dagli ang pag-ulan o mga pagkidlat at pagkulog lalo na sa dakong hapon o gabi. 
Inaasahan na posibleng umabot na around 35 degrees Celsius ang pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura sa araw na ito sa Tugigaraw, Metro Manila at Puerto Princesa. Bagamat yung actual na mararamdaman natin ay posibleng maglaro sa around 39 degrees Celsius o yung tinatawag natin na posibleng computed heat index values. Sa ilang bahagi naman ng Luzon, 34 degrees Celsius inaasa natin ang pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura sa Legazpi City ngayong araw, 33 degrees Celsius sa Lawag at 24 degrees Celsius sa Baguio City. Patuloy naman ang mainit at malinsang ang panahon sa buong kabisayan pero may chance rin ang ilang isolated rain showers or thunderstorms lalo na sa dakong hapon o gabi. Inaasahan na posibleng umabot around 33 degrees Celsius yung pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura sa Iloilo at Cebu City ngayong araw, 32 degrees Celsius naman sa Tacloban City. Dito sa may bandang Mindanao, within 24 hours inaasahan natin na posibleng ang yung ilang bahagi ng kaulapan na dala ng low pressure area ay makapekto sa Davao Oriental, Davao Occidental at Sarangani. Yung mga nabanggit nating lalawigan magiging maulap at may mga posibleng pagulan at ilang pulupulong pagkidlat at pagkulog. Sa natitirang bahagi ng Mindanao, magiging bahagi ang maulap hanggang sa maulap ang kalangitan at may chance rin ang ilang isolated rain showers or thunderstorms lalo na sa dakong hapon o gabi. Inaasahan na posibleng Pumalo ng arang hanggang 36 degrees Celsius ang pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura dito sa may bandang Sambuanga at Davao City ngayong araw, 32 degrees Celsius naman sa Cagayan de Oro. Lagay naman ang mapag-alo ng karagatan sa paligid ng ating bansa. May nakataas po tayong gale warning dito sa may bandang Dulong Hilagan, Luzon, particular na sa mga karagatan sa paligid nga ng Batanes, sa northern coast ng Cagayan, kasama na nga dyan ang Babuyan, island at sa mga karagatan sa paligid ng Ilocos Norte. Hanggat maaari, huwag muna po malawot dito yung mga kababayan nating mga ngisda at yung mga may malit na sakyang pandagat. Sa natitirang bahagi na ating bansa, magiging katamtaman hanggang sa maalon sa ilang bahagi but generally sa nat, uh, most parts of the country makakaranas ng uh, banay hanggang sa katamtaman pag alon ng karagatan maliban na lamang kung may mga offshore thunderstorm activity. 3-day weather outlook natin dito sa Metro Manila patuloy nga generally mainit at malinsang ang panahon 35 degrees Celsius ang inaasahan na pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura for the next 3 days. Sa bagyo naman, maglalaro sa around 24 to 25 degrees Celsius ang pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura. At sa Legazpi, mainit at malinsangan pa rin ilang isolated thunderstorms. Asahan din, 34 degrees Celsius ang posibleng pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura sa susunod na tatlong araw. Sa Cebu City naman, 33 degrees Celsius. At bandang Dabao, posibleng maging maulap at may mga kalat-kalat na pagulan at ilang isolated thunderstorm pagdating ng Sabado. 34 to 35 degrees Celsius inaasahan natin na pinakamataas na antas ng temperatura sa susunod na dalawa hanggang tatlong araw. At dito naman sa Metro Manila ang araw sumigat ka nila 5.35 ng umaga at lulubog ng alas 6.13 ng hapon. Karagdaga informasyon online hinggil nga sa magiging lagay ng ating panahon, mangyari lamang bisitahin ang aming website bagong.pagasa.dost.gov.ph Yan muna ang latest mula dito sa Pagasa Weather Forecasting Center. Ako po si Chris Perez, nag-uulat. Magandang araw sa kanilang lahat.
Mula po dito sa Quezon City, uh, ako po si Jer Andoran. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. So ngayon po ay tatalakayin natin kung ano ba yung nangyari sa ating panahon mula March to uh, April 27 of 2020. So dito po tatalakayin natin kung ano ba yung estado ng tinatawag nating ENSOR, El Nino Southern Oscillation. Ano ba yung mga weather systems na nakapekto sa atin for the past few months. At ano, gano'n ba kadami o kakonti yung ulan na natanggap natin at yung init ng temperatura na naranasan natin. So, una po is tignan po natin yung ating tinatawag na uh, ENSO condition. So, yung ENSO condition po natin or El Nino Southern Oscillation ay uh, interaction ng ating uh, atmosfera at yung dagat. Yung titignan po natin ng mga indicators is yung Uh, init ang temperatura ng dagat over this Nino region at yung difference ng pressure over dito sa Tahiti at in Darwin. So, una po, tignan natin yung ating Southern Oscillation Index or yung ating atmospheric indicator. So, kung makikita po natin, yung areas po between blue and red line is within the neutral threshold. So, uh, kung mapapansin natin, as of December 2019, yung ating Southern Oscillation Index is within the neutral threshold. And in terms naman of sea surface temperature anomaly, makikita natin na yung ating... Uh, ating temperatura sa gitna ng Pasipiko is mula October 2019 is makikita natin na naglalaro siya dun sa may linya ng uh, El Nino threshold. But recently, tinitignan natin na mas buma bumababa naman ito at ngayon is within the neutral, neutral uh, threshold naman. And so, kaya po tayo nagtaas ng uh, MCAO, nag-issue po tayo last 18 of April 2020 at sinabi po natin na ENSO neutral condition persist across tropical Pacific. Uh, though yung sea surface temperature uh, natin is near to above average, but yung atmospheric state naman is natin is still within the neutral levels. So, ang ENSO alert system status po natin ay inactive. Ito po yung ating initial last April 18 of 2020. So, mayroon po itong dalawang version. Yung ating simplified version para mas madaling mabasa. At yung ating official statement na nire-release din po natin. So, ano ba yung mga weather systems na naka-apekto sa atin for the past few months? Uh, bago po ang lahat, nag-issue po pala tayo ng termination of the Northeast Monsoon last March 20, 2020. So, ito po ang official statement natin na na-terminate na yung ating amihan at ngayon po is start na ng ating dry season. So, last March... Uh, and April 2020 po is nakaranas tayo ng Northeast Monsoon or yung ang hanging amihan natin na na-terminate nga noong March 20, yung low pressure areas natin. Of course, kakibat ng amihan is yung tinatawag nating tail end of the cold front. Also, ngayon po, uh, nakaka-experience tayo ng intertropical convergence zone. And majority po sa period ng March and April is naka-experience tayo ng easterlies o yung hangin mula sa silangan at of course yung uh, reach of high pressure nagdadala sa atin ng mainit na panahon and yung localized thunderstorms din na, na kalat-kalat na pag-ulan ang nararanasan at pag-ulan may kasalangan mang pagkitlat at pagkulog yung naranasan natin sa buong bansa so Paano ba maintindihan yung rainfall maps na tinatawag natin? So, ito yung ginagamit natin to assess kung gano'ng kadami yung ulan na natanggap ng isang lugar uh, kumpara sa normal na ulan nila. So, kapag red po, ibig sabihin way below normal, which is less than 40% of the normal rainfall yung uh, natanggap ng isang lugar. Yellow is below normal, which is 41 to 80% of the normal rainfall. Green is near normal, which is 81 to 120%. And blue is above normal, which is uh, greater than 120% of the normal rainfall. So, for March 2020, uh, kung mapapansin natin, most of the uh, areas normally over dito sa eastern portion is ang nakakatanggap ng 
ulan na around 200 to 300 millimeters of rainfall. But compare natin dun sa actual rainfall na tanggap natin for March 2020, makikita natin mas koonte compared sa ating normal. Kaya po makikita natin sa percent normal, majority ng country natin ay naka-experience ng below to way way below normal to below normal rainfall condition except sa areas dito sa may uh, Cagayan area, Bicol area, uh, dito sa western section ng Visayas, at of course dito sa may Sambuanga area na naka-experience naman ng near to above rainfall condition. So as out of 82 provinces natin sa Pilipinas, 9% doon ay naka-experience ng above normal rainfall condition, 20% for near, 55% uh, is below normal, and 17% experience way below normal rainfall condition. So, uh, kung susumahin po natin lahat ng uh, March from 1950 to 2020, makikita natin na ang taong 2020, kung irarank natin siya, is ito ay makikita sa pang 16 na mababang ang ulan na makikita. Still, ang may record ng pinakamataas na ulan is ang taong 2011 na ang uh, mean rainfall ng tanggap ng Pilipinas sa buwan ng Marso 2011 is more than 300 millimeters of rain. Compared po natin for 2020 na around more than 50 millimeters of rain lamang yung natanggap natin for the whole Philippines. Philippines na mean rainfall. So, for April 2020 naman po, mapapansin natin na majority po ng bansa is naka-experience ng way below normal to below normal rainfall condition. Kung ititignan natin yung uh, actual rainfall natin at i-compare natin sa normal, makikita natin na malaki yung reduction ng rainfall natin for April uh, 2020. Though, may mga areas like Central Luzon and Southern Luzon naka-experience naman ng near um, normal to above normal rainfall condition at may mga patches din tayo ng near uh, normal rainfall conditions dito sa may eastern part ng uh, Visayas at some portions of Mindanao. So out of 82 provinces, mapapansin natin na uh, 39% ay naka-experience ng way below normal rainfall condition, 46% ay naka-experience ng below normal rainfall condition, uh, 12% na experience ng near normal rainfall condition and only 2% lamang yung naka-experience ng above normal rainfall condition. Specifically, it's Pampanga and Turlac of Central Zone. In terms of temperature for March 2020, mapapansin natin uh, most uh, stations sa bansa natin ay naka-experience ng near average to above average uh, mean temperature and in terms naman po dun sa na-record natin na ex temperature extremes, for March 2020, ang pinakamataas na na-record is for Cotabato City last March 20 and March 31 na 37.9 degrees. And pinakamababa naman is for Baguio City and um, Benguet State University lang Trinidad na 11.1 degrees Celsius shoes at uh, 13.0 degrees Celsius for Baguio. For Metro Manila, ang uh, pinakamataas at pinakamababa ay na-record sa Science Garden, Quezon City. Highest is 35.6 degrees Celsius and lowest is 21.2 degrees Celsius. For April 2020, kung titignan natin yung mean temperature anomaly natin, still, most parts of the country experience near average to above average uh, mean temperature except naman po dito sa may areas over uh, northern Luzon and extreme northern Luzon na naka-experience ng below, slightly below to below average uh, mean temperature. And for temperature extremes of April, ang pinakamataas is sa San Jose Occidental Mindoro na 39 degrees Celsius 
And pinakamababa is 13.6 from uh, BSU Latin Trinidad Binguet. For Metro Manila, ang pinakamataas ay Sinaiya, Pasay City, which is 36.2 degrees Celsius noong April 16 and April 21. And 21.9 degrees Celsius yung pinakamababa sa Saints Garden noong April 4. So, sa buong historical records nila, ang pinakamataas ay si Tugigara, which is 42.2 degrees Celsius. At pinakamababa ay si Baguio na 6.3 degrees Celsius. For the whole um, year of 2020, ang may pinakahawak ng pinakamainit ay si San Jose with 39.0 degrees Celsius. At pinakamababa ay si BSU La Trinidad which is 6.3 degrees Celsius ng February 4 of 2020. So, tingnan naman po natin kung, tu kung susumahin natin lahat ng temperatura ng mean temperature for March mula 1951 to 2020, makikita natin na ang um, mean temperature anomaly for March 2020 is positive at kung irarank natin ang lahat ng March from 1951 to 2020 makikita natin na si 2020 ang may ang pangatlo sa pinakamataas na uh, mean temperature anomaly for the whole for the whole Philippines. So ito po ay nagre-reflect din naglabas si NOAA ng significant climate anomalies and event, event for March 2020 at uh, for global average, yung March 2020 din na mean temperature is nagrarank na second highest since the record nila ng 1800. Kasama din po is nagre-reflect din ito sa Asia which ranks fourth and Europe which ranks sixth warmest yung March 2020 natin. In terms naman po ng heat index, ang may pinakamataas na na-record for March 2020 ay kay San Jose Occidental Mindoro na 47 degrees Celsius noong March 27, March 30, and March 31. While for April 2020, ang pinakamataas na compute is yung 58 degrees Celsius Still, sa San Jose Occidental, Mindoro noong April 20 of 2020 ng 2 p.m. Dito po naman sa Metro Manila, ang pinakamataas ay sa Naiya, Pasay City uh, na na-compute na 44 degrees Celsius noong April 22 ng 2020 ng 2 p.m. So, in summary, uh, for March 2020 na rainfall, way below to below normal rainfall conditions yung na-experience ng most parts of the country except sa mga ilan-ilang areas sa Metro Manila, uh, Batanes, Isabela, Bicol, western section ng Visayas, western portion ng Mindanao na naka-experience ng near average rainfall condition and in terms of temperature, near to above average sea surface temperature yung naranasan natin in most parts of the country. From April 1 to 27 naman po is most parts of the country experience way below to below normal rainfall condition. Uh, though may mga portions like Central Luzon and Southern Luzon na naka-experience na near average rainfall condition. And in terms of temperature, uh, near to above average sea surface temperature yun na experience natin over most parts of the country. In terms naman po of tropical cyclone still, as of April 27, 2020, wala pa rin pong tropical cyclone na pumapasok sa ating Philippine area of responsibility. So, um, lagi po uh, subaybayan si Pag-asa sa iba pa mga updates at pwede po tayo mag-visit sa website ng Pag-asa at Facebook page to be updated. So, yun lang po at maraming salamat. lahat sa pagpapatuloy po ng ating 123rd Climate Forum, ihahatid naman po namin sa inyo ang Climate Outlook for the next 6 months, covering May to October 2020. Ang contents po ng presentation na ito will be about the ENSO status, forecast, Climate Outlook for May to October, and then the summary. 
If you want to take a look at a glance about the El Nino Southern Oscillation or ENSO indicators in terms of oceanic indicator of sea surface temperature anomaly, makikita po natin na dito sa kaliwa that during the last four weeks, yung equatorial sea surface temperature po natin were above average. So, ibig sabihin po, warmer than usual yung ating tropical Pacific Ocean. Uh, nakikita po natin dito na medyo mainit. Whereas in terms of subsurface temperature naman po, yung pong below dun sa sea surface temperature, makikita po naman natin na may sustained negative surface temperature. So meaning po, uh, medyo mainit ang ating ibabaw na temperatura ng ibabaw ng dagat, pero po yung subsurface niya, eh, meron pong consistent na uh, malamig. So ibig sabihin po, hindi po masyadong malalim or masusustain well yung continuous warming ng sea surface temperature dahil nakikita po natin na yung beneath that sea surface temperature ay malamig naman po yung ating temperatura. So despite recent sea surface temperature na sabi nga po natin ay being at borderline El Nino levels dun sa pinresent po kanina ni Ms. Jeran, so overall conditions suggest an ENSO neutral state. That's in terms terms of oceanic sea surface temperature. Kung titingnan po naman natin yung atmospheric indicator in terms of southern oscillation index, so ito po yung na-measure dun po sa sea level pressure difference sa West Pacific at Eastern Pacific. Na kung saan yung 30-day SOI po as of April 26 was negative 2.1. So ito po ay nasa and so neutral threshold values dahil usually po is between minus 7 to plus 7 po yung tinatawag na ENSO neutral values for Southern Oscillation Index. So, ENSO neutral po ang pinapakita ng ating atmospheric indicator. So, magamat sabi nga po natin na merong unusual o may di karaniwang pag-init ng temperatura ng ibabaw ng dagat at still at nasa El Nino threshold level and yung sea surface or subsurface temperature naman po natin ay malamig and then yung atmospheric indicator natin ay at ENSO neutral state. So it seems that warm ocean is socially distant from its atmospheric partners. So makikita po natin na may social distancing din po ang nangyayari dun sa oceanic and atmospheric indicator natin. So meaning hindi siya fully coupled just to sustain yung sinasabi nating weak borderline El Nino level. So ENSO neutral condition pa rin po tayo. If we'd like to take a look at the official ENSO, probabilistic ENSO forecast that was made during early April and mid-April, makikita po natin na all mo, uh, models suggest ENSO neutral conditions at least up to the forecast period of November, December, January and up to December, January, February next year of 2021. Although meron pong mga slight probability towards uh, last quarter of the year na meron pong mga possibilities of having La Nina condition. So, hindi pa rin po natin yan uh, nasisigurado. Bagamat meron po tayong nakikita na may posibilidad po na at least na magkaroon ng La Nina condition until the last quarter of the year. But still for now, and so neutral conditions pa rin po until during the forecast period. And base po sa multi-model predictions ng El Nino or from both dynamical and statistical models, so it is predicted that and so neutral conditions will persist until December, January, February, although there are some uh, uh, spread dun sa model and some models are tilt towards some in La Nina and some in El Nino but still, ibig sabihin po napakataas ng spread ng mga forecast na to. So, napakataas pa po ng uncertainty towards the last quarter of the month, the year, yung forecast natin. But still, and so neutral. So, base po dyan sa nakalap nating mga information at analysis, so pag-asa ENSO advisory is inactive, meaning ENSO neutral condition continues to persist across the tropical Pacific. And majority of the climate models 
favors continuation of ensign neutral condition until September 2020. So, ito po yung general advisory from Pag-asa. And here's the climate outlook in terms of rainfall, temperature, tropical cyclone frequencies, and weather systems that might affect the country from May to October 2020. These are the weather systems that may, that may affect our country from May to October. So, marami na po tayo nararanasang mga thunderstorm activities dahil sa localized thunderstorm activities dahil napakainit po ng ating uh, land masses ngayon. Nandito po tayo sa dry season and warm period. Also, risk of high pressure areas na kung saan mostly ito po ay kapag ito nakaka sa atin ay nakakaramdam po tayo ng sobrang init or tindi ng init sa ating bansa. Tail end of cold front, so posibli pa rin po yan nating maranasan during the period. Easterlies, na kung saan ito po yung mostly na prevailing weather system sa panahon na ito. Pagdating po ng between May and June, inaasahan po natin na meron po tayong transition from, from dry season period to southwest monsoon. And then magkakaroon na po tayo ng southwest monsoon activity mostly between May to September. Uh, coincided with some occurrence of intertropical convergence zone, low pressure areas, and also tropical cyclones. About our rainfall maps, rainfall maps, so kapag nakakita po tayo ng mga re red shades sa ating mapa, that would mean way below normal rainfall condition or less than or equal 40% lang po dun sa normal niyang natatanggap. 41 to 80%, yellow shades po natin which is below normal. 81 to 120% near normal and greater than 120% above normal rainfall condition. So ito po yung ating uh, ginagamit in terms of percent normal. Now, for May 2020 forecast, yung nasa kaliwa po nating mapa, ito po yung normal rainfall distribution during the months of May from 1981 to 2010 na kung saan makikita po natin na most of rainfall concentrations ay naandun sa my parts ng, ng Luzon area, including some portions of, of Mindanao area. In terms of forecast rainfall in millimeters of rain, yung nasa gitna ng mapa, uh, makakaranas po tayo ng medyo mas maraming ulan dito sa may parte po ng, ng Luzon area, Central Luzon. And in terms of percent normal dito po sa kanang uh, mapa, generally near normal rainfall condition except with some patches of below normal rainfall condition dito po mostly sa may Bicol area some portions of Central Visayas area and also dito po sa may western part po ng Luzon area might experience below normal rainfall condition. So all in all, around 69 provinces might experience near normal rainfall condition while 13 provinces might experience below normal rainfall condition. Pagsapit ng June, so, yung sa kaliwa po, yung normal rainfall distribution during the months of June, yung sa gitna ay in terms of rainfall forecast, millimeters of rain, and yung percent normal po dito sa dulong kanan, generally, most areas of the country will experience or might experience near normal rainfall condition, except yung pung below normal rainfall conditions around nine provinces situated mostly dito po sa northern and western Luzon area, while two of the provinces might experience above normal rainfall condition dito po sa may parte ng Camarines provinces or Camarines area. Pagdating po ng July, so eto po yung tinatawag nating peak ng ating southwest monsoon rainfall na kung saan mostly yung higher rainfall concentrations are situated along the western sections of Luzon area. And in terms of percent normal, ang forecast po natin ay generally below to near normal rainfall condition and most of the below normal rainfall condition are forecasted to experience uh, sa western section po ng ating bansa including portions of northern Luzon or Ilocos region area. So in general, around 
provinces might experience near normal rainfall condition while around 11 provinces might experience below normal rainfall condition. Pagdating po ng August, ito pa rin po yung peak ng ating Southwest Monsoon Activity where most uh, rainfall concentrations ay situated pa rin po dito sa my western Luzon area. And in terms of percent normal, pagdating po ng August ay generally near normal rainfall condition except to in above normal rainfall condition po dito sa my part po ng eastern summer provinces. So mostly near normal rainfall conditions. Pagdating po ng September, makikita po natin na generally near normal rainfall condition pagdating po ng September sa kabuuan ng ating bansa. Pagdating po ng October, so makikita po natin ito yung transition na natin from, from southwest monsoon to northeast monsoon na kung saan yung mga concentration po ng ating maraming ulan ay lilipat na dito sa eastern section ng ating bansa. Particularly mauuna po dito sa may eastern section po ng Luzon area. At in terms of forecast rainfall for in percent normal, October, ay generally near to above normal rainfall condition. And most of the above normal rainfall conditions uh, from 21 provinces ay mostly dito po sa may central Luzon and southern Luzon area including some portions of Bicol area. So yun po yung nakikita nating forecast na medyo maraming concentration ng ulan pagdating po ng October. Ngayon kung titingnan po natin dito sa ating mga forecast, Uh, in general po ay way below to near normal rainfall condition and at the end of forecast period come October, dun po tayo makaka-experience yung mga lugar dito sa may uh, region, Central Luzon region including Metro Manila, portions of uh, most of Calabarzon area and portions of uh, Mimaropa and Bicol area. So, ito po yung nakikita nating medyo makaka-experience ng, ng madaming ulan kaysa karaniwan niya pagsapit po ng October. And may Mindanao ay generally near normal rainfall condition. So, ito po yung forecast rainfall natin in terms of percent normal disaggregated per province. Ito naman po yung rainfall forecast in terms of millimeters of rain for Luzon and then Visayas and Mindanao. For all sa mga selected dams and lakes, so generally nakikita po natin na yung mga forecast natin sa ating mga watershed ay generally near normal rainfall condition during the forecast period Except for Lake Buhi, pagdating po ng Mayo, medyo below normal rainfall condition. And then pagsapit po naman ng October ay may mga watershed po natin such as Lake Buhi and Patnabangan watershed. Pagsapit ng October ay generally above normal po sa mga watershed areas natin yan. Our forecast rainfall for rain station sa ating mga selected dam areas so, ito po yung sa mga station po natin, sa mga station points po natin dito sa mga dam areas natin. So, mostly generally near normal rainfall condition. So, meron pong mga below normal rainfall condition pag sapit ng July. Although below normal rainfall ito, eh malaki din po yung porsyento ng ulan na nararanasan natin dito po sa mga selected dams na makaka-experience ng below normal such as Binga Dam and San Roque Dam. Pagsapit po ng October, so may mga uh, dam areas po natin like Bunga, Ipo Dam, Marikit, uh, Padalis, and Pantabangan Dam ay posible pong maka-experience ng above normal rainfall condition come October 2020. For selected river basins, kung titingnan po natin na ito po yung sa kanang mapa, yung 18 major river basins in the Philippines, 
So, makikita po natin na uh, generally below to near normal rainfall conditions during the months of May to July, dito po sa mga uh, 18 major river basins natin, particularly pagdating po ng June dito po sa may mga Luzon river basins natin, whereas dito naman po sa Mindanao during the forecast period ay generally near normal rainfall conditions. For October, August to October uh, rain, rainfall forecast over selected river basins, so ganun pa rin po, generally near normal except for above normal rainfall conditions pag sapit po ng October, dito po sa may ating Vico River Basins, Pampanga River Basin, and Pasig Laguna River Basin. So may mga possible above normal rainfall conditions po dyan sa mga selected river basins natin sa may Luzon area. Kung mapapansin po natin, kung babalikan natin yung mga mapa na pinakita natin kanina, forecast from May to October, it seems na ang mga ulan ay mostly generally near normal rainfall condition. At makikita po natin at during this time of the year, uh, inuulit po natin na nandito po tayo sa na-experience nating predictability barrier na kung saan napakataas po ng uncertainty coming in from the models sa forecast dahil ito po yung time na kung saan ay napakaliit lang po ng temperature gradient or temperature uh, differences ng ating system. Uh, kung babalikan po natin na kung saan ang ating forecast ay nakabase po dun sa sea surface temperature and temperature forecast during recent condition so makikita po natin na hindi well uh, na masyadong well mix yung ating oceans ngayon kaya nga po hindi nagkakaroon ng full coupling with the atmosphere kaya hindi po tayo nakakapag-produce ng maraming convective activity so given that makikita po natin na in terms of our probabilistic forecast makikita natin there is high uncertainty coming in from our forecast. So, for example po, during the months of May, makikita natin dun sa previous forecast natin in terms of percent normal na generally near normal rainfall conditions. But in terms of probability, as in for example in over Luzon area, may makikita rin po rin po tayo na even though we predicted near normal rainfall conditions over most parts of Luzon area, in terms of probability, may nagsasabi pong model na still there is probability of having above normal rainfall condition sa may northern portion po ng Luzon and also there are possibilities or probabilities of having below normal rainfall condition. So, dito po natin nakikita or na-address yung uncertainty coming in from the models. Most models predict near normal rainfall condition while in terms of probability of how certain or uncertain we are, there are still models saying that it could be with above or below the normal uh, probability thresholds. Pero kung titignan po natin dito sa may October, na kung saan some of the areas we forecasted it above normal rainfall condition, so napakataas po ng certainty or yung confidence natin coming from the forecast, for October forecast. So this is how we we uh, interpret probabilistic forecast so that we could provide you some unter uncertainty level coming in from the future weather and climate conditions natin. In terms of monthly mean temperature forecast anomaly during the months of May to October so, mostly makikita po natin ay medyo mas maraming pula or pulang-pula. That means, in general, slightly above to above average temperature po than average ang ating mararanasan during the forecast period. Except dito po sa uh, July forecast natin na kung saan mostly near average to slightly below average po yung forecast natin particularly in areas in Luzon and the Visayas region. Why pagdating po ng July, yung Mindanao po ay eh, medyo mainit pa rin po yung ating temperatura on the average. 
in terms of forecast temperature e extremes of minimum and maximum temperature, so uh, hinati po natin yung ating bansa in, in six, Northern Luzon, Lowland Luzon, Mountainous Luzon, Metro Manila, Lowland Visayas, Lowland Mindanao, and Mountainous Mindanao. Base po dito sa forecast natin, we could experience the hottest or maximum temperature possible po for the year. Uh, usually po kasi, climatologically speaking, during the months of May po, yung mga highest recorded na maximum temperature natin, and based po dito sa forecast natin, we could still get as high of more than 40 or 41 degrees centigrade. So, ito po yung extreme. So, meaning, hindi naman po ito yung sustained maximum temperature na may experience natin, kundi at some instant, uh, at some time of the day, ay posible pong marinasan natin itong ganitong kataas na temperatura. Dito po, lalo na lalo na po sa may Northern Luzon area, so, usually po ay dito sa may parte po ng Cagayan, Tugigaraw, or Isabela area, yung nakaka-experience po ng mga ganyang mga maiinit na temperatura during the months of May. In terms of dry day forecast, so ito po yung mga araw o bilang ng mga araw na of rain ang mararanasan. Kapag nakakita po tayo dito sa table ng mga red shades, ibig sabihin po ay mas madami po yung dry days na pinoforecast natin kaysa dun sa normal dito po sa kaliwang table. Ito po yung normal dry days. Sa gitna ay yung forecast number of dry days and in terms of anomaly. Yung mga blue shades naman po yan, makikita po natin ay decreasing number of dry, dry days Kung ikukumpara natin sa kanyang normal, so meaning po, mas madami po yung araw na posibleng may ulan kaysa karaniwan pagdating po dun sa mga areas na makikita natin merong mga blue shades dyan or negative values ng dry days. So, eto po ay mostly during the months of May. So, meaning po, uh, medyo marami na po yung araw na medyo marami tayong araw na may ulan pagdating ng Mayo that could signify the onset of the rainy season. So, although hindi po natin uh, ipinakita dito yung, yung analysis natin, yung onset ng rainy season, so base po sa nakikita natin, kung i-combine po natin yung forecast information in terms of rainfall forecast and in terms of number of the dry days, makikita po natin na posibleng mag-onset ang ating rainy season during the months of May. And probably or a possibility po ay between week 3 and week 4 of May kung masusustain po yung ating mga tinatawag na mga local thunderstorm activities and pagkakaroon po ng mga malalaking weather systems kagaya ng bagyo. So, yun po yung ating napuporecast natin. Kung combine natin yung information coming in from our rainfall forecast and in terms of number of dry days. So, ito po ay sa Visayas area and Mindanao area. So, mostly, including Visayas area po, eh, medyo maulan na rin po pagdating ng Mayo, na kung saan posible nga pong pagdating ng pagpasok ng buwan ng Mayo, ay eh, meron po tayong mga, ex mga experience na mga maraming pag-uulan due to posibleng intertropical convergence zone or low pressure areas or local thunderstorm activities. Forecast tropical cyclone frequency from May to October. May, 1 or 2. June, 1 or 2. July, 2 to 4. August, 2 or 3. September, 2 or 3. October, 2 or 3. So, uh, makikita po natin mga around 10 to 13 tropical cyclones from May to October ang posibleng po nating maaasahan na bilang ng bagyo na darating sa atin. That could be tropical depression, tropical storm, severe tropical storm, ty or typhoon. So, ito po yung ating tropical cyclone frequency. Around 10 to 13 cyclones during the forecast period. 
So in summary, majority of climate models favor continuation of ENSO neutral conditions until September 2020. Uh, highly, highly unusual pa rin po, but there are some models na posibleng magkaroon po or na mag-favor into a La Nina condition by end of this year. That's why ang pinapakita po natin ay continuation of ENSO neutral until September 2020. Our ENSO alert system status is now inactive, still inactive. And in terms of rainfall forecast for the whole country, for May, generally near normal rainfall conditions except for some patches of below normal rainfall over Bicol area, small portions of central Luzon, and some parts of the Visayas area. For June, Generally, near normal rainfall condition in most parts of the country, except for some provinces in northern and central Luzon, na kung saan posible po silang maka-experience ng below normal rainfall condition and above normal rainfall naman po dito sa may mga Camarines Sur and Camarines uh, Norte area or provinces. For July 2020, generally below to near normal rainfall condition for the whole country. In August, generally near normal rainfall condition over the whole country except for eastern summer that might experience above normal rainfall conditions. September, generally near normal rainfall condition. And October, generally near to above normal rainfall condition for the whole country. And most of the above normal rainfall conditions will be likely in Central Luzon, NCR, Calabarzon, Mimaropa, and most of Bicol area. In terms of temperature, uh, generally near to above average temperature is predicted in most areas of the country during the forecast period, except for slightly below and to near average temperature in July in some areas of Luzon and the Visayas. And in terms of tropical cyclone frequency, around 10 to 13 that may enter or develop inside the Philippine area of responsibility from May to October. So, yan po ang latest from Pag-asa in terms of seasonal six-month rainfall forecast and outlook. So, despite this ongoing ECQ and Bayanihan to heal as one act due to COVID-19, so mostly po ang ating climate forum ay via FB Live, online lang. So, for some queries po, comments and questions po regarding po dito, so pwede po kayong mag-send sa amin ng mga, mga comments through our uh, email address dito po sa next uh, sa next slide na ibibigay natin. Uh, asahan niyo po that Pagasa will continue to closely monitor any significant phenomena and updates advisory shall be issued as appropriate. So, papasok na rin po dito tayo sa sa ating Southwest Monsoon Season o yung medyo maulan at marami na rin po tayong mararanasan na posibleng bagyo. So, despite of this, uh, ang paghahanda po natin dito sa nararanasan nating COVID-19 pandemic ay pagdoblihin po natin ang pag-iingat at maging resilient dito po sa panahon ng magiging tagula natin at posibleng makaranas pa rin po tayo ng mga ibang weather hazards during the next six months. So, next schedule po, tentative ng ating climate forum ay sa 27 May. Sana po ay uh, sa pag-asa, central office na po tayo magkikita. So, titignan pa rin po natin yung development. And for comments and suggestions, so, uh, email lang po kayo or bisitahin ang aming pag-asa website, Facebook, and Twitter account. And also, eto rin po dun sa aming pag-asa trunk line. So, actually, meron din pa rin pong sasagot sa ating sa pag-asa dahil meron pa rin po tayong mga nagtatrabaho 24 by 7 sa pag-asa office. So, yun lang po at maraming salamat. So, keep safe everyone. Good afternoon po muli sa ating lahat. Unang-una, we thank the good Lord 
for allowing us to conduct this 103rd Climate Forum amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and the Enhanced Community Quarantine as one of our work-from-home activities. We also thank the people behind the success of this forum to the Climate Monitoring and Prediction Section of the Climatology and Epidemiology Division headed by Ms. Annalisa Solis and Salah and staff yeah. To the ICP of the Engineering and Technical Services Division, so weather division, hydrometric division, and sa lahat po ng staff na tumulong para po maganap itong climate forum nito. We're also grateful for our administrator, Dr. Vicente Milano, and to the OIC Deputy Administrator for R&D, Dr. Esperanza Cayanan, for their support. And last but not least, maraming salamat po sa inyo sa mga loyal at pagsyaga nating mga clients at stakeholders ng pag-asa. Kahit saan lang po tayo ngayon, nawa ang pagtalain po tayo lahat ng mga pangirihang Diyos at i-adjap po tayo sa sakit, lalong-lalo na po itong gulat ng COVID-19. Let us continue to pray for this pandemic to end soon. In Jesus' name, Amen. We hope na sa susunod po nating climate forum sa May 2020, ay sa pag-asa office na po tayo mag-ihita. God bless po sa ating lahat and stay safe.